What's up everyone, I'm Andrea and welcome to another very opinionated review. So I saw Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse last night and it was fantastic. Though I did have to wait to make this video, uh, seeing as I do have a seizure disorder and I had to recover after seeing the movie. I will say if you have really bad epilepsy, which I don't, it wasn't necessarily safe for me to see the movie by myself, but I'm fine. For someone who has severe epilepsy, honestly, I would avoid the movie. Sony is not making it easy for people who have seizure disorders. And they tell you that from the very first frame. The, honestly, the opening credits were some of the hardest parts for me to get through. That being said, if you are able to see the movie, please do. It's fantastic. One thing I will say, and I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Please be aware that this is um, part two of a three-part story. When I was going into it, I kind of forgot that. And then we got to the end and I was like, oh, that's right. And I was almost mad, but then I remembered, yeah, they actually told us that and that's fine. And the movie is still amazing. And of course, it's gonna be a long time before we get the next one, but I'm willing to wait. This movie was fantastic. From the music to the voice acting to just the visual feast on screen, I loved every minute of it. So check it out if you can. But like I said, if you have a seizure disorder, probably don't see it in theaters. Um, I had to see the first one by turning on all the lights and watching it on a tiny screen in my parents' house and I, my brother was there and I still even had a seizure. So be careful, just be careful, but it's still a great movie. I do recommend it, but cautiously.